Hi, I'm Jessica Patterson of Spinning Shadows Fiber Hearts, and today we're doing something new. I'm going to be um, reviewing my Spinolution Polywog. Now, I've had this wheel for about four years now, so I've used it quite a bit, and uh, I do have a bit to say about it. This is my first new wheel, um, you know, brand new, uh, you know, just made that year. And um, yeah, so let's take a look at it. This is it here. As you can see, it's made of a uh, board that has been pressed together and glued. And uh, it's a nice little wheel. It has a very small footprint and um, it spins very easily. It works with ball bearings and um, it doesn't have to be oiled or maintained like a traditional spinning wheel. But on the same hand, you don't get the same uh, stain from age and charm that traditional spinning wheels have. Uh, this is very portable. It has a built-in lazy cape, which holds the bobbins. These pegs just come out and slide in right here for travel, transport, and um, for breaking it down even further, the entire head of the wheel comes off um, and it fits into a duffel bag or a beach bag, actually. It has pegs on the flyer and a hook, so this wheel can actually spin very bulky yarns, but the bobbin, which says it's four ounce, but it's more um, what I would consider, say, maybe a two ounce bobbin, um, won't hold very much of a bulky yarn. Uh, this wheel does come with a 12 ounce flyer upgrade that you can get off their website. But um, this is flyer driven. Um, there's whorls behind this that the drive band goes on. And there's actually a whorl right a uh, groove right here if you have a bigger drive band for doing like super bulky if you want your wheel to go very slow and how it drives the bobbin is there is a brake right here this is your brake and the brake is actually a block with a uh, felt on it uh, this one I replaced with some faux leather and that just puts tension on this rod through the bobbin and slows it down so it pulls the yarn onto the bobbin. Um, <clears throat> these, speaking of the bobbin, the uh, front of the flyer comes off. It's held on by magnets and the bobbin pops off for a quick change. This is also really handy if you're in the middle of a project and you want to switch out the pin and you can't. So that's how that changes. Um, the treadles are very small and they actually fold back all the way here. And this is how you change out the drive band as well, is you just pull it off the front or put it on the front and bring it around the wheel. It's in a, a um, I guess elastic rubber drive band. Anyway, um, this is really easy to spin with. It can spin very fast on the smallest whorl. Um, and these treadles, you know, you only have your toes on them. And uh, this, I could say, is one of the uh, features and also one of the detriments of this wheel is um, that is a lot of pressure on your toes. So you sort of need a flexible foot to use this wheel. I find if I use it too long, it does cause my foot to start to cramp. So if you have any foot issues, this is not one I recommend. But if you don't, it's um, it's handy. It's a handy beginner wheel. It can do a lot. Um, but it does have some limitations as well. Um, let's that's, it's easy to get started. 
As you can see, I've got my toes on it. Um, you can actually go fairly fast. Um, the This rest here cut, you know, goes right through the middle of your foot right there. So, like I said, if you have foot problems, this ain't the wheel for you. But um, it also just has a really tiny footprint. Don't let anybody tell you this is a child's wheel. It, it is, it can be a production wheel if it fits your style of spinning. Uh, anyway, I will start to show you a sample of spinning with it here. I've got a blended Rolex that I did the other day. And one of the things I like is to just hook on the fiber, the beginning of the fiber, get it started and uh, create the leader from there. Okay, And that way I can just spin it without worrying about, there's like no tension on it. Okay. And then I just hook it onto this um, little paperclip like thing here on the bobbin snug it in there and lead it through, going through the pegs, wrap it around, and uh, there's my leader. I don't have to fuss with an orifice hook with this or a leader yarn, which I do with my traditional wheels. And uh, this thing just zooms along pretty fast. And uh, for flying, it does the job really well. Um, and it, it's easy to spin. It's, you know, it's easy to get up, get up and going. When I first purchased this, I took it out of the box, put the drive band on, and uh, fussed with the tension a little bit. And that was about it. I was up and spinning very fast though I did have experience with other wheels. Um, and that's about it for the Spinolution Polylog. If you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe. Tell me what you think of this, of this video and the wheel that I'm reviewing here. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments section. Like, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, and share all over the internet. That would really be awesome. And um, as always, have a great day.